Hello everyone, my name is Akere Le Olua Shogo, popularly known as Mr. Excel. I'm your Microsoft Excel and Power BI trainer at Leadly Data Analytics School. So today I'm going to show you the dashboard which I created on Power BI. La Liga 2021-2022 dashboard prepared by Mr. Excel. Yesterday I showed the Premier League dashboard I created and we're able to see the performance for each of the team in the English Premier League. But today we are going to look at the La Liga, La Liga, the Spanish League. So we are going to see the performance of each of the team, how many teams, which team qualified for the Champion League and which team came first in the just compared La Liga. So we want to know how many points do we have in each of the top four teams in La Liga. And if you look at the dashboard, I use various visuals for my dashboard to, to get insight from the dashboard. So what is Power BI? Power BI, Power BI means Microsoft Business Intelligence, which is one of the data analytics, analytics tools for data visualization. Power BI is used for data visualization and reporting. So it helps us to get insight from our data. It helps us to get insight from our data, which is used for better decision making. If we look at the dashboard, how many points do we have? How many points are amassed in La Liga this season? So we have 1,000, 1,029 points in total in La Liga. We have 269 wins in La Liga, 269 losses in La Liga. 222 draws in La Liga in total and 951 go in favor in La Liga. We also have 951 go against in La Liga. So which which, which team are the, in top four? These are the top four teams by points in La Liga. The top four teams are the ones that qualify for the Champion League. We have Free Madrid 86 points, Barcelona 73 points, we have Atletico Madrid 71 points, and the last thing that qualified for the Champions League slot is Sevilla with 70 points. So on the table, on the table contains the inside for the all the teams in the La Liga. You can see right from my table, Real Madrid sat at the top of the table. That is why they were crowned the, the champion in La Liga. They played 38 games, 26 wins from the 38, 4 losses, they lost 4 times, 8 draws, 49 goal difference and they have 86 points in La Liga. Followed by Barcelona. Barcelona played 38 games, 21 wins, 7 losses, 10 draw, 30 goal difference and the point amassed by Barcelona is 73 points. 73 points. That means they are 13 points short of Real Madrid. That's why they came second in the league. The third team that came third is um, Atletico Madrid. They played 38 games, 21 wins, 9 losses, 8 draw, and they have 22 goal difference, and they have 71 points. Followed by Sevilla. Sevilla is the last team that qualified for the Champions League. They came fourth in the table. They played 38 games, 18 wins, 4 losses, 16 draw, 23 goal difference, and their point is 70 points. 70 points. So now we can zero, we can zero the analysis on each of the team to know their performance. But we are going to focus on the top four teams to see their performance individually. We are going to use what we call slicers. Slicers. Slicer is used for filtering our report based on criteria. Slicer is used for filtering our report based on criteria. It helps us to make our dashboard to be interactive based on the criteria selected. On the slicer, I will go to my slicer now and look for Real Madrid on the slicer. We want to see the performance of Real Madrid on the slicer. So scroll down my slicer and go and look for Real Madrid. So I click on Real Madrid on the slicer. So I will see the performance of Real Madrid. 
So Real Madrid have 86 points, 20, 20, 26 wins, 4 losses, 8 draw. They score 80 goals in favor and they concede 31 goals. 31 goals. 31 goals. So Real Madrid scored a lot of goals this season, which is most of the goals was scored by Benzema. Benzema. So I'm going to my slicer and I'm going to pick the second team, which is Barcelona. Let's see the performance of Barcelona in the dashboard. Barcelona has 73 points, 21 wins, 7 losses, 10 draw, 68 goals in favor. They score 68 times and they conceive 30, 38 times and they just concluded La Liga. You can see the various visuals for Barcelona. We can see in the table they came seconds in the table and they also qualify for the champion league because they came second in the table i'm going to back to my slicers i'm going to pick atletico madrid atletico madrid let's see the performance of, of atletico madrid they have 71 points from the just concluded la, la liga season 20, 71 points 21 wins nine losses eight draw 65 goals and they concealed 43 times. Their defense was so porous this season, they conceived a lot of goals. Unlike the Atletico Madrid that we know before, we knew before they have the best defense. But this season, they conceived 43 goals. So let's pick the last team we are going to look at now, which is Sevilla. Let's scroll down from the slicer and pick Sevilla and see the performance of Sevilla on the on the dashboard so i'm lift so i picked sevilla let's see their performance in the in the dashboard they have 70 points 18 wins four losses 16 draw and they score 53 times go in favor and they conceive 30 goals 30 goals you can see they are also part of the top 14 by points that qualify for the champion league and they you can see the very various visuals for the Sevilla. They have 16 draw. They have how many wins? 18 wins. They have how many goals in favor? 53 goals in favor. And they conceive 30 times. 30 times. So you can see, we can also clear the selection so that we can see back our full report. I will go back to the slicer and click on clear selection. It will clear all the selection and it's showing back all the data is showing back all our data all our data so power bi is a powerful tool for data visualization do you have interest in data analytics why don't you join our school Lickly data analytics school where you'll be able to learn how to use microsoft excel how to use power bi and also how to use sql for data analytics after the training is a five weeks program after the training You'll be able to work with any type of data any type of data so thank you for watching my video my name is akere leo Shugo, popularly known as mr excel